Hello and welcome back students to this beautiful and very interesting chapter of coding decoding. Students, in the previous few modules, we have been doing some very basic questions of coding decoding, wherein we have been uh, decoding some alphabets with numbers, we have been trying to find the relation as given to the question and finding the codes for new alphabets or new words that have been given to us. Let us continue with this module of coding decoding and see what this example says to us. It says that if sugar is coded as P K L T N and T is coded as QGT, then how would you code great in the same code language? I think students, we have done few of these questions and it's a very, very easy question. Many of you would be directly be able to do it. Let's see sugar, it's given to us as P K L T N. So means uh, S U G A R is coded as P K L T N. Till now we have been assuming the same that the codes are in order basically s will correspond to p u to k g to l and so on and so forth let's see if our assumption is true then t is coded as q g t now students as you can see over here uh, there is just one alphabet in the code given that is common and that is t right and that is the code for the alphabet a so basically, it's very clear that it is a clear case of direct coding. So we can directly uh, find out the codes and apply to form the word great. Now great, as you can see students, G is L and there is no other L and no other G in the two words given to us. So definitely G will be L, there is no confusion. Similarly students, R is going to be N, then E is going to be G and a, yes students, A is given as T in both the words, so A is going to be T and finally T is going to be Q. So the answer to great is L N G T Q. I think you have, you have got the gist of basic coding and decoding. Let's move ahead students. This is what I have been trying to tell you that we have been doing direct coding till now. Direct coding means if sugar is coded as P K L T N, it means we have considered the coding in the same order. That is we have considered that S will be P, U will be K, G will be L, A will be T and R will be N. Now students, this is direct coding it means in order the codes follow, but it was only for your practice. It may not be necessary that we get the codes in order. We'll have to check various options. We'll have to analyze the question, whether we have been given a question of direct coding or indirect coding. Usually we get indirect coding questions a lot. So let's move ahead and see what is indirect coding. It clearly means that coding is not necessarily in same order. Let us see and understand indirect coding through this simple example. It says that if EAT, that is EAT, is coded as 642 and SWEET, S W double -E ET, is coded as 66912, then how would you code TEASE, T E A S E, in the same code language? Now, students, Basically, we have to understand that how this is indirect coding and how the previous was direct coding. Let us see what is given to us. It's given to us that E is 6, A is 4, T is 2. We assume this because till now we have been assuming this. And similarly, for sweet, we write the numbers in front of it as given in the question that is 66912. Now, students, if we try to analyze it, in the previous questions, there was no clashes involved. Over here, let us see. E is given as 6 in the word eat and E is given as 9 also and E is given as 1 also in the word sweet. Now students, this is what we have to decode. Whether E is 6 or 9 or 1. One thing is sure students, this you have to make sure that uh, one alphabet will always correspond to a unique code. It won't be that one alphabet should have different codes. If that is the case, we'll have multiple answers and we'll have to check the option in that case. So E is either 6 or 9 or 1. Now students, S is also given as 6. 
W is also given as 6 and in it E was also 6. So another confusion whether S is 6 or W is 6 or actually E is 6. This is what we have to decode and this is what we will learn in this question. Let us see, let us first write all the alphabets with their numbers in the order that is given to us and then try to decode what the exact order is. Again students, I stress on this point that every unique letter, every alphabet in the question will correspond to a unique code or a unique number that is what we have to decode, right? So let us see, clearly observe students over here in the word sweet, there are two E's. Can you see? There are two E's and there are two sixes. So basically, it means there is no other alphabet which is repeated twice and there is no other number which is repeated twice in sweet. We'll have to treat these two independently. We can't mix eat in between. First, in sweet, there are two e's and two sixes. So can we clearly say students that e will be nothing but six and also to support us in the word eat, there is one e and one six. It means that e has the code as six because wherever e is appearing for how many number of times e is appearing in a word, six is also following the same pattern. So it clearly means students that e is nothing but six. Let's move ahead. So, so we have faded out e. Now let's see what numbers and what alphabets are in front of us. Now students just observe T. T is 2 in the word eat and T is also 2 in the word sweet. Now basically I am not saying that 2 is written in front of E that is why it's 2. No, it is not the reason. The reason is that there is only 1 2 and 1 T in eat and there is only 1 2 and 1 T in sweet. So 2 is common and T is common. So basically in both the words, we can decode that T is nothing but it's 2. Okay, let's move ahead. A is given as 4. Again, not because 4 in front of us, but because both E and T have been decoded and the only alphabet left is A. And 6 and 2 have also been decoded. So only number left is 4. So definitely students, a is going to be 4 and neither 4 nor A appears in the word sweet. So definitely we can decode from the word eat that A is going to be 4. Now students, we have decoded almost everything and we are just left with S and W as you can see and two numbers 9 and 1. Now students, can you churn your brain? Can you think basically that what is S and W? Do we have anything else to decode S and W? I don't think we have because we can over here clearly see that S can either be 1 or 9 and similarly W can be 9 or 1. If S is 1, W will be 9. If S is 9, W will be 1. So students, we can only solve the question till this level here. We can't move ahead because nothing is given to us. Had it been given that W is fixed as 9, so we would have considered S as 1 or vice versa or some other word would have been given which would have helped us decode S and W uniquely. So it clearly means students, this is what we can decode till now that E is 6, T is 2, A is 4, S is either 1 or 9, W is 9 or 1 depending on what S is. So students, we have been asked to decode the word is in the same code language. So can we say that T is going to be 2, E is going to be 6, A is going to be 4, then S is 1 or 9 and E is 6. So basically students, we have been asked to decode T's. So T's can form two types of answers that is 26416 and second 26496. It will all depend on what S is. Now students, why I have included two answers in this question is because you may get different options. Now, when you are given four options, there may be only one of the option which is given. So you have to check that if only one option is given, then whatever 
is given you can mark it right out of these two or there may be an option which says that both of these are correct or it can say that either of these are correct or there can be an option which says that it cannot be determined clearly so you have to churn your brain you have to understand the question relate it with the options and then mark the answer and students here we have necessarily written in order now the answers the options may be given as jumbled so you have to take it out that if there are these five digits they will be code for these five alphabets so this is what you have to learn in indirect coding students in the coming modules we would be seeing some more examples on indirect coding till then students thank you